Hey guys, I'm Joshua Carlton and today I'm going to show you five tips on how to make better stencils using Procreate in the iPad. Tip number one. You want to start with A4 size paper. That's the closest to 8x10 photocopy paper that we use. That way it's just easier to size the tattoos up. So you simply open up Procreate, go to the plus sign, and right here in your drop down menu is A4. That gives you a new sheet of paper to put your design on. You should already have your design saved in your iPad. So just hit the wrench, go to insert a photo. That'll bring up your photos. I've got my photo saved here, so it's going to come up. So now I can basically imagine if this were an 8x10 sheet of paper, and I can simply size the tattoo up. 8 out of 10 times I actually get it right, right off the bat. But if you don't, no worries, we can shrink it down a little bit or enlarge it later. Tip number two. So tip number two, now that we've got the design on the A4 sheet of paper and we've got it sized accordingly, you want to make sure that you make an extra layer. This is going to be the layer that we do the drawing on top of, just like a sheet of tracing paper. And what I always want to do is use a red pen, a blue pen, a green pen, anything besides black just so you can see where you're going. You can actually choose the color. I like to be a little closer down in the dark, like a black area, and you can actually save that for future drawings as well. But you can see here that when you do red, you can see where you're going and where you've been a lot better. I don't know how many times I've made stencils before I figured this out and I would just get completely lost in what I'd already done. So tip number two, make sure you use a red pen. Tip number three, don't necessarily zoom in on all the tiny details. You're gonna really, you're gonna really see how clear the iPad makes everything and wanna zoom in on all these little details. But once you get all this in there and you shrink it back down, you're gonna realize that you're actually making details that are completely unnecessary. So make sure you size it appropriately. You can enlarge it a little bit just to see better, but make sure that you don't zoom in so much that you're spending all this extra time on erroneous details. Tip number four. So after the stencil is made, I just made a really quick stencil here. You want to go into the layers. You want to make sure you're clicked on the actual layer of the design and you can change the opacity. And what this does is we'll let you go all the way down to your line drawing and all the way up to what you have with the layer on top. I like to kind of have a copy of it where I put it about halfway. So when I'm doing the tattoo and I come across a strange line and I'm wondering why I did that, it shows me the area that I was indicating. So I like to take a screenshot of this and I'll have the actual reference up next to it. I can kind of go back and forth. It's just a really great way to, to help you not get lost. And tip number five. Bold lines on the outside of your stencil. All of these lines so far are the exact same line weight. At the end of the stencil, I like to make the pen a little bit thicker and just kind of go along the outside here this is something that's really difficult to do in traditional stencils, but by making this outer envelope thicker like this, it ensures that my stencil is going to stay a lot better. I'll rarely do it on the inside, but sometimes like in an ear or a leaf like this, if there's just something I want to make sure I really hang on to, I'll just kind of put a thicker line on the outside of everything. All right, guys, that was five tips and tricks on how to make better stencils with your iPad. If you like stuff like this and you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I'll see you next time.